is our honor to take you to this amazing journey to explore the wonders of Asia. Now, we are very near to Korea and we will stay there for a while. I am Talia on behalf of the Kingdom Cruise Crew. Hope you have a pleasant time enjoying the facilities provided in our cruise. For now, if I may have your attention for a while, I want to ask you to prepare yourself. Please wear your best suit, and if you are currently enjoying snack in our buffet, please stop eating for a while. Put away your toys and gadgets, and pay attention to our lovely tour guide. I hope you pay a good attention, stay focused to everything she is about to explain. Before leaving the cruise, let us pray together. Dear Lord, thank you for this beautiful day. Now we want to learn more about you. Please lead us and bless us, Lord, so we can understand you more. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I hope you have a wonderful time cruising with Kingdom Cruise. See you later and have a nice day. Have on kids, let's stand up, let's praise our Lord. I want the left and I want the right. Will not stay from the paths that's right. And I keep on seeking, keep on reaching. Follow, follow, follow Jesus Christ. I want the left and I want the right. Will not stray from the paths that's right. And I keep on seeking, keep on preaching. Follow, follow, follow Jesus Christ. I'm fixing my eyes on you. I'm fixing my eyes on you. On you. I'm fixing my eyes on you. I'm fixing my eyes on you. I'm fixing my eyes on you. On you. On you. I want the left and I want the right. Will not stay from the past. On seeking, keep on preaching. Follow, follow, follow Jesus Christ. I'm fixing my eyes on you. I'm fixing my eyes on you. I'm fixing my eyes on you. On you. Fixing my eyes on you. I'm fixing my eyes on you. On you. I want the left and I want the right. Will not stray from the path that's right. And I keep on seeking, keep on preaching. Follow, follow, follow Jesus Christ. Come on kids, let's sing our next song, let's prepare our heart, let's give the best sound and the best movement just for our Lord. Show me your ways, your ways, your truth, your truth. Your ways, your ways, your truth, your truth. All my hope is found in you. I trust in you, Lord. I trust in you, Lord. Day by day and step by step, my hope. 
Love is you, love, it's you, love Every heartbeat, every breath I trust in you Show me your ways, your ways, your truth, your truth All my hope is found in you Show me your ways, your ways your truth, your truth, all my hope is found in you. I trust in you, Lord, in you, Lord. Day by day and step by step, my hope is you, Lord, it's you. It's you, love Every heart beat, every breath I trust in you, love In you, love Day by day and step by step My hope is you, love It's you, love Every heart beat, every breath I trust in you Jesus, thank you for your goodness. Thank you for your mercy. We want to worship you, Lord. I love you, Lord, for your mercy never fails me. All my days, I've been held in your hand. From the moment that I wake up Until I lay my head Oh, I will see Of the goodness of God And all my life you have been faithful And all my life you have been so, so the goodness of God I love your voice you have led me through the fire in darkest nights you are close like no other I've known you as the father I've known you as a friend Is 
JJ soon so I can get what I really need before everyone leave me uh, where is oh here it is ah now I can see all the things that I need I'll need a cap tumbler for my drink a pair of sunglasses, a bottle of hand sanitizer, and of course, my wallet. Duh! But I wonder what is this message? 
With all cap, you must tumbler sunglasses and not your hand sanitizer. Wallet 3 dot dot 5. Wait, what? Uh, focus, focus. I have to find those things first. They are somewhere in the middle of this mess. Hmm. Okay, now where is my cap? Oh, here it is. Next, I'm gonna need my tumbler. Hmm. Oh, yay! Found it! Okay, uh, the third one. My cute sunglasses. Sunglasses. Mm -hmm. Ah, yoohoo! I found you! And next, hand sanitizer. I believe it has a red handle. The last time I saw it. Aha! Gotcha! And last but definitely not least. My wallet, my pretty pink wallet, pink wallet, here you are, yay, I found all of them, and they all have this little pack with a writing on it, hmm, I'll try to put them on JJ's note, ah, I see now, this is the special message. With all your heart, you must trust the Lord and not your own judgment. Proverbs 3 verse 5. It is correct, isn't it? Let me check it. Uh, with all your heart, you must trust the Lord and not your own judgment. Proverbs 3 verse 5 Okay, it seems to be correct I think I will need to read it one more time uh, With all your heart, you must trust the Lord and not your own judgment Proverbs 3 verse 5 Uh, JJ, what is the meaning of this message? If you memorized it Yes, of course, because you wrote down that I have to memorize it. Here, you listen. With all your heart, you must trust the Lord and not your own judgment. Proverbs 3, verse 5. Well done. Yay! Now, uh, will you tell me what is the meaning of this message? It is what it is, honey. You have to trust God with all your heart and not on your own judgment. Just like when you said that you can always count on me, you definitely can count on God too. In fact, you have to trust Him more than me. Ah, okay, Titi. I can always trust God. Got it. Now, you repeat after me. I will trust God's direction for my life. I will trust God's direction for my life. Okay, now say it together with me. I will trust God's direction for my life. Oh, Jinji, I think I really need to go now. Thank you so much for your help, Jinji. Cruise, I am going to give you 
free time to go around this area. But before you go around the area, I want you to listen to me because I'm your tour leader. I need you to download the Kingdom GPS application. So in your phone, you need to have the Kingdom GPS application. Yes? So can you download it now? Because you really need this application when you go around the area. Otherwise, you can get lost. We don't want you to get lost in Korea, okay? So, everybody, download. And later, I am going to meet you again in this place. Here with me, Kingdom Land Tour. You will see this flag and we will meet here in two hours. So, use your GPS. See you later, everyone. See you in two hours. Two hours later. Come here, come here. Yes, everybody, you can gather. Gather here. Kingdom Land Tour. Kingdom Land Tour. Ah, finally, you are all here. Good job, everyone. Kingdom GPS is really good, right? It helps you to come back here. Okay, there are 15 of us. Let me make sure that we are all here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Hey, we are missing one member. <gasps> Do you think he got lost? Oh dear. Hmm, I, I need to call him first. Before we go to um, another destination, let me make sure and call him first, okay? Wait a minute. Uh, hello? Hello? Is this my tour leader? Yes! I'm your tour leader! What happened to you? Um, I think I'm lost. You got lost? Did you download Kingdom GPS? Um, I don't think I did. Oh no! That's why you got lost. Um, so, okay, listen to me. Can you download the Kingdom GPS right now? Okay, I'll download it right now then. Okay. Already? Yes. Okay, so can you find out in your Kingdom GPS where you are right now? Oh, it looks like we're not so far away. Ah, that's good! So find your way using the GPS to come back here and see your friends, okay? Okay. Alright, see you later. <sighs> see? That's what happens if you don't have a GPS with you. You can get lost. You need to always have the GPS with you to keep you on the right direction. Have you ever seen a GPS? The GPS is like a map. It has all the places that you want to go to and the directions of how to get there. It even has the voice to tell you how to get there. The voice will go like this. In three kilometers, turn right. In two kilometers, turn left. As long as you are listening to the voice, you will not get lost. You know, in our life, the GPS is the Bible and the Holy Spirit. The Bible is like a map, our GPS which will tell you what is the right thing to do and the things that you should not do. If you are confused and you don't know if it's right or wrong, you can always check in your Bible whether it's right or not. And you can listen to the voice of the Holy Spirit that is in your heart. The Holy Spirit will explain what you don't understand from reading the Bible. That's why you will not get confused again and you will know what to do. And you will know where God wants you to go. Don't get lost. You need to have your GPS with you every time. Your Bible and the Holy Spirit that is in your heart. 
I am going to tell you the story about Paul and the shipwreck. God told him that they should not go on the ship because there will be a very big storm. But they didn't want to listen to Paul. So what happened to them? Let's watch together. travels led him to Jerusalem. There the Jewish leaders brought up false charges against him, and Paul was taken prisoner and sent to Caesarea to stand trial before King Agrippa. Although King Agrippa found that Paul had committed no crime, because he was a Roman citizen and had appealed to the Roman Emperor, Paul was sent to Rome. Under the watchful eyes of Julius, a Roman officer, Paul and a number of other prisoners boarded a large sailing ship that would carry them to many port cities on the long journey to Rome. Once aboard the ship, Paul was led on a winding journey that took him from Caesarea to Sidon to Myra to Nidus, and then around the island of Crete, where they docked at a place called Fair Havens. Getting to Fair Havens had been a long and difficult journey. Winter was approaching, bringing with it dangerous weather and sailing conditions. Paul pleaded with the sailors and officers to stay on Crete. Paul warned them, Continuing this journey will bring disaster to our ship, cargo, and our own lives. We should remain here. Despite Paul's warnings, the officer in charge was persuaded by the ship's captain to find a safer place on the island of Crete where they could spend the winter. Soon after they set sail, what was a gentle breeze turned into hurricane-force winds that blew their ship far off course and out into the open sea. The sailors tried to control the ship, but nothing they did could put them back on course. Exhausted, the sailors secured the ship as best as they could with ropes and then let the storm drive them wherever it pleased. For many days, the ship sailed on raging seas under the black skies of the storm that blotted out the sun and the stars. Exhausted and starving, everyone on board began to lose hope that they would survive this voyage. All except for Paul. Paul stood in front of the crew and passengers and said, Men, you should have listened to me and not left Crete. But take courage. God's angel came to me last night and said that the ship will be destroyed, but all of us will survive. Even though we will be shipwrecked, God will save us. If they listened to Paul, they would have not gotten into the shipwreck because Paul listened to direction from God and he told them, but because they don't want to listen, they all got into the shipwreck. The same as us. If we listen to God's direction, we will always be safe. That's why you have to make sure that you listen to the voice of the Holy Spirit and you read the Bible as your map and God's direction in life. The kingdom tour. Yes, Mommy, um, yeah, I love Korea so much. Oh, it was a beautiful country. Home sweet home, okay? Okay, you know what? You open the gate while I get all the luggage. Okay. Bu, jangan lupa kasih saya lima bintang ya di aplikasi. Okay, thank you juga, Pak. What took you so long? Oh no! Let me see. I can't find the right 
key. I can't open the gate. Oh my goodness, you have put all the keys together. This is to your bedroom. This is to my bedroom. This is to the maid's bedroom. And this is to the toilet. Okay. This is the one. See? This is the right key to the right lock. Oh my God. Home sweet home. Earlier today, you tried to open one lock with so many keys. See, if only you have separated them or give them for day, that opening will be not frustrating and tiring. You will save time and energy too. See, with the correct key, you can open a lock faster and easier. Right? Just like in life, we are constantly um, faced with decision making and fixing problems. Rather than just trying our way, this way or that way, it is better to pray and ask God because God will show us the exact, correct, perfect fit key to solve our problems. Then we will be successful because we are following His directions in our lives. Okay, Mommy, thank you for the life lesson. What are the some difficulties you face in your life? Maybe which group of friends you want to be friends with? Cheat or not to cheat during online tests? Or maybe to go or not to go to birthday parties? When you have to decide, does your personal preference play a part? How much of it? At this decision-making times, we really need to go to the Lord in prayer and ask Him to show us what He wants us to do. God wants you to trust Him to direct you and He has even sent a helper, the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit will help us in everything. You may not know the answer right away, but with prayer, Bible reading and Holy Spirit, you will eventually grow stronger in faith and learn to listen to God's direction. God is in control. We can trust Him to direct our lives. Our own judgment will always be mixed up, but God's direction is never wrong. Therefore, let us shout today's PowerPoint boldly. I will trust God's direction for my life. If you want God to help you in decision making, let us all pray together. Let's pray. Dear Father, please help us to turn to you for guidance each and every day. Help us to trust the things and people you send our way as your way of looking out for us. Most of all, help us to read the Bible and pray so that we can discern your will for us. Holy Spirit, we welcome your presence in our life and be our guidance. We love you, Lord. In Jesus' name, Amen. Children, if you need us to pray for you or when you have questions, you can contact us at 0815-1935-5064 And if there is anybody watching this and feel that God is calling you to be His children, I want to pray this prayer with you. Please follow this prayer after me, okay? Dear God, thank you for loving me. Thank you for sending your son to die for my sin. I'm sorry, Lord, for my sin. And I accept Jesus Christ as my Savior. Now, Lord, I turn over 
my entire life to you. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Congratulations! Now you are God's children. You must pray, read the Bible, and contact us if you have any questions. Okay? Happy Sunday, everyone! And God bless you! Quiz time! Number 1. SMV with all your heart, you must trust the Lord and not your dot 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 judgment. Proverbs 3, verse 5. A. Own. B. Friend. C. God. Number 2. What is the use of GPS? A. To tell the right time. B. To show pictures of a place. C. To show the right direction. Number 3. Who can guide us in God's direction? A. GPS B. Bible and Holy Spirit C. Map Number 4. Paul warned the officer not to continue the journey, but the officer did not listen to Paul. They continued the journey, and what happened to the ship? A. The ship sails safely B. The hurricane hits their ship C. The ship goes back to Creek. Number 5. What does the right key to the lock symbolize? A. The right direction we need to go B. The solution to a problem C. A and B are correct Number 6. Whose judgment will always be mixed up? A. Our own B. God C. Holy Spirit <laughs>